Hey everyone, Christina Simmons from Say Yes to Holiness here. I wanted to do my weekly YouTube video and share it. And over the course of this last week, uh, a friend uh, sent me a prayer card, which is from the Legion of Mary, of whom I am an auxiliary member. Um, but it's how to imitate Mary. And the guidance that is here is actually the words of Blessed Virgin Mary that were given to Venerable Mary of Agrita and is from her book, The Mystical City of God. And in that book, The Mystical City of God, Blessed Mother revealed her life to Mary of Agrita. And, um, but I wanted to share it just in the context a little bit because it struck me because of all of this process of getting my book together. And uh, just very simply, I finally received it, didn't get it until Monday. So I was hoping for it Friday, didn't get it for another three days, finally got it Friday evening. Um, and so this is the book, this is what it looks like. Um, so uh, it is, as I've said, in English and in Spanish. Um, the actual length of the book uh, is 188 pages. That includes the end notes. Um, and so that's actually the length of the book. But I love it uh, because it's a nice size print. I tend towards a little bit larger print. Uh, but say yes, discovering purpose, peace, and abundance in your daily life. But going back to how to imitate Mary and how to imitate Mary, Mary instructed Mary of Agrita and she said, be patient without envy, kind without offense, be without anger, pride, or ambition, think ill of no one and suffer and tolerate all things, do things calmly peacefully, patiently, and with perseverance. So what struck me was, you know, so just going through each of those lines, so be patient without envy. Well, I know a bunch of people who have published books that got through the process and have their books in hand, they've done book launches, everything else, and I haven't yet. <laughs> now there's a myriad of different reasons and don't need to go into those. But the fact is, is that to be patient without envy, and I really had to grow in that. I really had to double down on trust and docility to God's will, that this is what he desired. And so to be patient without envy, to be kind without offense, so to rejoice that the other people that I know who um, have been you know, working just as hard as me to publish their book, that you know, I was kind and, and overjoyed, and I was, and, and I am, uh, for their success as well. So to be without anger, pride, or ambition. So to not be angry uh, because it's out of my control. Uh, you know, so like the COVID publishing de delays or the publishing delays due to COVID, that's totally out of my control. And for me to be angry and upset about it makes, you know, uh, makes no sense. But many times we'll do that. We'll be angry about something that we have no control over. And anger doesn't impact anyone except ourselves. So, but to be without anger, then to be without pride or ambition. And I've struggled with that a little bit. I know that this message that I worked to write and to compile and have put together and I'm sharing with people, I, ha I know without a doubt that this is transformative. And I'm not saying that with pride, but because of the process through which I wrote. And it was a process which was deeply rooted in prayer with our Lord, but then also in walking very closely with a, a beloved priest friend who uh, beautifully, you know, walked alongside me chapter by chapter and helped edit and helped me really craft this to make sure. And then subsequently when I have shared it with people and their comments, their responses back has been exactly that. 
This has been transformative. It's been life-giving. This is a beautiful message. I know that this is going to help many people. So um, I'm firmly convinced. So it's not about pride in my efforts, but rather it's about the fact that this is what God has entrusted to me. But it's hard not to get sucked into all of what the world, you know, is about. You know, about the fact of like doing a book launch and doing a trailer and doing all these different things. And that's great. But the fact is, is that trusting that God's plan will reveal itself and to do the work. But for me to set aside my pride and my ambition for what I want this book to do. So, think ill of no one and suffer and tolerate all things. Wow. <laughs> so case in point, uh, I, I've been uh, having uh, a little bit of a tussle with being able to place an order for uh, a bulk order of copies for my book so that that way I can send them out and that way I have them, you know, to be able to send to people. Um, and, you know, and I, you run into incompetency, you run into people that just don't know, they're ignorant, um, but to think ill of no one. And that, that is something. But then to suffer and tolerate all things. Um, and in our world today right now, so many people are not willing to tolerate anything. They're not willing to tolerate someone's not willful or intentional ignorance, but rather they just don't know. And yet we start with a place of thinking ill of the person rather than thinking well of the person. Instead of presuming that they just didn't know and correcting them with love and with mercy. Instead we think ill of them and we immediately take offense and we immediately attack. And that's not what we're called to do. Especially if we're trying to imitate Mary. And finally do things calmly, peacefully, patiently, and with perseverance. This has been my great hope, especially as I've been coming out of COVID, is that I would be able to realize that all things will get done, that I need to just go about them peacefully, patiently, and with perseverance. So when I got this prayer card, shout out, thank you. Uh, Susie, I appreciate it. Um, but when I received it, it really struck my heart. And I hope it strikes yours as well. Because imitating Mary is imitating Jesus. To imitate Mary means that we draw closer to her son, to our Lord and Savior, and that we become more and more who it is that God created us to be. We become more and more those saints that he created us to be. And it allows us, when we do that, little bit by little bit, imitating Mary so that we become more like her son Jesus, so that that way we can do God's will and we can truly live that life of purpose, peace, and abundance. I hope that these couple of tips have inspired you and encouraged you and helped you on our journey to holiness. And I look forward to talking with all of you soon. And in the interim, make sure to go and check out www.sayyestoholiness where you can pre-order a copy of this with bonuses because I will autograph it, send it to you. And, uh, and then also uh, you'll have access to all the other bonuses. And then also check out on Amazon because Say Yes uh, and look it up with Say Yes and then put my name, Christina Simmons, that'll bring it up most easily in a search. And it'll come up on Kindle right now. And hopefully by the end of this week, it'll also come up as a paperback or hardbound option as well. Thanks again, everybody, for your prayers. Know of my prayers for you. I look forward to seeing you next time. God bless.